Hi, welcome to your weekly oracle card reading. So this week I've decided to use Earth Magic Oracle Cards by uh, Stephen D. Farmer as well as Divine Guidance by Cheryl E. Harnish. So let's start with the Earth Magic Oracle Cards today. All right, so let's see. All right, island with solitude. All right, so sometimes in order to find the light within, we must go into solitude, but also we don't want to spend too much time in solitude or we'll become lonely or even sometimes um, sort of out of touch with reality if we're in solitude too long. So it's definitely important to keep a balance when it comes to solitude. And once you've kind of had your revelation or realization um, about you know what it is you are needing because um, sometimes you need to go within yourself in solitude in order to find it out what it is you really are needing and what are you really wanting for yourself. Once you actually get that revelation, then you have to move forward with whatever that is. And that usually will require you to go out into the world and to make that happen. So it is important to have that time for yourself, but it's also important to act on whatever it is that you need to do for yourself. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's next. Okay, so. Cave with Sanctuary. So, this is definitely telling us that we need to find our own inner sanctuary and our own sense of security within ourselves. And that's what can help us to have more confidence in ourselves and have more ability to go out into the world. So making sure to take care of ourselves and find that inner sanctuary of love. And yeah, and that's really, you know, it's all about going within and finding your inner strength, and finding that thing you need to bring into the world. So, yeah. And then lake with stillness. Yeah. So, it's also, you know, when you're going within, usually you have to find that place of stillness. That's That has nothing to do with your mind or even your emotions. It's a stillness of your emotions and a stillness... Um, just, you know, that sense of peace within. And that is what can help us to um, heal and to help us um, get in tune with our intuition and to really also find that inspiration that we need. All right, let's do one more card here. Green Man with Synergy. All right. Green Man, right. Once we're in tune with our own nature, which is really the nature of the divine, more synergy can occur, more, um, you know, connection between what it is, you know, we're feeling, what it is we desire, and really getting in tune with that, it can create outward circumstances that really are attracted to you. So, and it also helps you get in tune with the collective and with the divine, which kind of is all that is and ma makes you more synergistic with nature. And getting in touch with nature can help you even get in touch with that place inside of you, the stillness inside of you, and the part of you that is a part of the whole. So, yeah, really finding that synergy in life and really finding the um, 
you know, the synchronicities that occur around you and paying attention to those synchronicities and actually noticing maybe how you are feeling when that happens and really getting in tune with your own feelings and intuition. So yeah, definitely a time to go within and then work towards making your inner world match your outer world. So it's important, like once you have found that um, stillness to, or that, you know, inspiration even to, um, you know, try to make your outer world match that. All right. Let's see what the divine guidance cards have to say for today or for this week. Okay. So we got the wisdom guide. So the wisdom guide is supposed to help us with any new teachings that we have been, you know, learning or trying to teach possibly even. So this comes to people who are really uh, learning something new or trying to teach something new. So the most important thing to know is that true wisdom comes from within and it's important to really get in touch with your own inner wisdom before trying to like teach because if you're coming from a place of like you know like just focusing on an outer thing and like you know you have this concept and stuff usually the concept is supposed to come within and and when you're in tune with your own self is when you can really be better at teaching so making sure to listen to your inner wisdom is really what this card is I think trying to say for this time alright and then this one this one's the happiness card and it's all about finding your joy and following your joy and when you're in tune with your joy and your sense of happiness then it emanates out to others and makes other people happy so doing what gives you the most joy is actually helpful to everyone and following that inspiration will inspire others to follow their inspiration so yeah, even when you're benefiting yourself, it is beneficial to the collective. Because you're raising your own vibration, which causes a ripple effect to others. Because you're feeling it, therefore it's going out to others and they're feeling it too. Because they're like, oh, this is exciting, you know, or whatever. When you're excited about something, then it kind of, they can't help but be, you know, infected by that excitement. Or whatever feeling it is. Inspiration or peace, joy, love, you know all that wonderful peaceful loving awesomeness all right <laughs> and this card this card yeah I feel like this card is definitely talking about getting in tune with your loving place and really being nurturing to your relationships and nurturing to yourself because it really begins with yourself you have to you know, feel good within yourself in order to help others because people can feel the energy of what you're putting out there. And in order to feel, you know, if, the, if, if you're like coming from like a stressed or like not taking care of yourself place, then that's what kind of work you're going to put out. Like is kind of like a, like, you know, that feeling is going to emanate from you. But if you're taking care of yourself, loving yourself, and being true to yourself, then that's what's going to come out of you and make you feel, or make everybody feel better. So that's kind of what all of these are sort of saying right now. But <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> and we'll do one more Divine Guidance. Ooh, nice. So this one's about getting in touch with nature and Mother Earth, her energy, her, you know beauty, her food, um, taking care of your body as well, because our bodies are a part of nature, you know, um, while we're here, 
it's important for us to be in tune with that and um, we have to take care of our environment because we are a product of our environment so you know being in tune with that like is beneficial to us as well so you know healing mother earth in any way you can you know by not participating in some of the more negative things humanity does to her is one way that you can actually benefit your own self as well as you know mother earth and everyone really on the planet so yeah, and like just being in tune with her is just, you know, very, yeah, it's just good. It's good for you. <laughs> okay, um, thank you guys for watching and liking and subscribing and commenting. And I will be back again with your reading next week. All right, bye.